Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you some of my favorite tools for knitters and crocheters. The first item is a crochet hook holder that my friends at Shane Anigans gave to me as a gift. You can find this organizer for aluminum hooks as well as ergonomic hooks on the Shane Anigans Etsy shop. By the way, be sure to click on the subscribe button to get notified of new videos from me each week. As you may know, I wrote a broomstick lace book available on Amazon. Broomstick lace can be a little tricky because you have to hold a large knitting needle and try to get loops onto it with your crochet hook. The designers at Shenanigans came up with this awesome broomstick lace pin. It can stand up so you don't have to hold it. Or you can put it between your knees to keep your hands free. Plus, there's a really nice groove for your crochet hook to easily take off the loops. Again, this is available at the Shane Anigans Etsy shop. This next tool is by Boy and is pretty handy. It's a yarn yardage counter. Instead of measuring your yarn with a ruler, you can place your yarn in this counter and lock it in. Now you can easily figure out what 10 yards or more of yarn amounts to. Another useful tool is the Knit Check by Susan Bates. If you have a crochet hook that you can't find the size printed on it, you can just place it in the holes to find which one fits perfectly. This also works for knitting needles. Plus, you can count your stitches and rows easily to calculate your gauge in both knitting and crochet. By the way, if you're on social media, you can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Now, the rule is if you hand make a scarf, you should hand wash the scarf. Realistically, a lot of people do not have time to hand wash items. So, these lingerie washing bags are a huge help to keep your hand knit or hand crocheted item safe if the recipient chooses to machine wash the item. If you've ever had a ball of yarn bounce all over the floor as you knit or crochet, you can see why a yarn bowl is very useful. Place the yarn ball in the bowl and fish it through the swirls to keep it in place as you work. This color scope color selector is a useful tool I found on Amazon if you want to see if yarn colors blend and match together nicely. As you look through it, you can see these colors would make a lovely granny square baby blanket. These yarn needles are a lifesaver, especially if you have trouble threading yarn through a needle. They are made by Susan Bates and come in several sizes. You just pull apart the needle gently and push in your yarn. They make larger ones or smaller ones to fit any size thread or yarn. These Denise interchangeable crochet and knitting sets are wonderful. If you do Tunisian crochet, you can make an extendable Tunisian hook to fit hundreds of loops for a large blanket. The knitting needles are wonderful to make customized circular needles. And these are just some of my favorite tools for yarnies. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like and comment on this video. Check out the video's description and the info button. Also, this video has both closed captions and auto-translated subtitles. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.